Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the role of acupuncture in treating chronic pain and how it compares to other treatments. Stay until the end of the video because I'm going to finish with a very nice clinical case of fibromyalgia that I treated with acupuncture. Today's video was prompted by a scientific paper that was published this month in the BMJ titled Tramadol vs. Placebo for Chronic Pain A Systematic Review with Meta-Analysis and Trial Sequential Analysis So in this meta-analysis, which is an analysis of multiple scientific papers and multiple clinical studies, the authors studied the efficacy of tramadol, a very used pain medication that is used in a lot of chronic pain patients. And what they found was very interesting but not very good for the patient's health. They found that tramadol unfortunately is not as effective as it might be expected and as it was very well known it had, it's a drug that has a lot of unwanted effects. So tramadol increases the risk for congestive heart failure and for coronary artery disease. And it has other side effects that are not as serious but that are also concerning for patients that might feel them, such as nausea, constipation and sleepiness. So if you have a lot of side effects and don't have enough of the effect that you want to, it turns it turns out that this might not be a great drug to prescribe to patients with chronic pain. If you'd like to learn more about the techniques that I talk about in my videos, check out the courses I have available. I have courses in Portuguese and in English, so check them out in the links below. In these courses I teach the balanced method to treat pain. This is a technique where you get instant relief in most pain cases, so if you want to learn about it, check them out. Very important caveat here, I'm not telling you to stop taking tramadol if your doctor prescribes it to you, not by any chance. So the prescription of a drug is something very serious that must be done by a doctor and only a doctor can take that prescription away too. So if you are taking tramadol or if your doctor is advising you to take tramadol, don't use this video as an excuse not to, this is just information. So talk to your doctor. If you want to read this paper that I will, <clears throat> I will leave the, the link to the paper in the description of the video, but do not drop a medication without talking to your doctor first. This is very important. But again, what um, this paper tells me is that we need to look for alternatives to tramadol for chronic pain. And being on my channel, you know that I'm going to be talking about acupuncture. But I don't want to be a hypocrite. Acupuncture also doesn't have a lot of scientific work that shows that it is very effective for chronic pain. There is already some work done. I will show you here some papers and I'll leave them in the, in the description so you can check them out. So there is evidence that acupuncture works for chronic pain but the evidence is still thin. But here we have two very huge differences from what happened to tramadol here. First of them is science and acupuncture have met very recently. Most high quality scientific work investigating acupuncture started only 15 years, maybe 10 years ago. So it's normal that the volume of evidence is still very low and also the research methods are not really well suited to test acupuncture the funding is not there but i don't want to make here a full video about science and acupuncture but if that's something that might interest you let me know in the comments and i will make a full video about scientific research and acupuncture i might even be in a very unique position to do something like that because I'm an acupuncturist, I work full-time as an acupuncturist and acupuncture teacher, but for 10 years I worked in scientific research as a biochemist. So if that's something that might interest you, let me know and I will make a full video about what research is being done with acupuncture, how it's going. 
But for today, I don't want to make a research on acupuncture versus research on medications, in this case on tramadol. I read this paper and it made me think even more we need to teach people about acupuncture. Because let's say worst case scenario, acupuncture shows as little results as tramadol did for uh, chronic pain, which any acupuncture professional that's watching this video or any patient of chronic pain will almost certainly know that it's not true. You know that acupuncture is effective, but let's just focus on the scientific evidence that we have right now and let's say that they are more or less on the same standing, so slightly better than placebo. Well, the great advantage that acupuncture brings and it is virtually side effect free. So with Tramadol, we saw a lot of side effects and with acupuncture, we're seeing none of them. So with acupuncture, the worst side effect that we might get is a bruise on the place of a needle and it's very hard to do more than that with acupuncture. It's a very safe treatment. So at least we can say, even if it's not more effective, it's at least for sure safer than tramadol. And with that being said, let's dive into a clinical case of a patient with chronic pain and see how I could help them with acupuncture. This was a 67 year old female patient who had a diagnosis of fibromyalgia. When she came to the clinic, she told me that she had a diagnosis of fibromyalgia. She had pain all throughout her body but the main focus of pain in the last few months was her right leg, mainly her right hip, sometimes shooting to her knee. The pain was mainly on the posterior side, or what we could diagnose as the bladder channel. She had already a lot of pain for over eight years and the fibromyalgia diagnosis was more or less that old too. She had taken a lot of medications, including tramadol, but nothing worked. Well, it might bring the pain slightly down. Maybe if, if the pain was at a level six, seven, it would bring it to a five, six, but there was still always a lot of pain. And something very interesting with this patient, as I was interviewing her, the pains started after a very traumatic event. This patient had lost her son. Her son died when he was a young adult and after the, the grieving process, which as you can imagine was very hard for her, the pains started and pain here, pain there, sometimes excruciating, sometimes bearable, but never without pain. She obviously had trouble sleeping. She was suffering from a depression. This was the presentation of the patient. Examining her, as you might imagine by now, we could see a severe kidney deficiency and she was also depressed. So I decided here to do a full treatment trying to treat the runaway pain and the fibromyalgia but also do some points specifically for her right hip because the pain was very strong and it was the main concern. So what did I do here? I started opposite side so if the pain was on her right side, I started on her left and used Sanchasan. Already made several videos talking about Sanchasan. This is a point that is in the hand and it is at the same time part of the triple warmer, small intestine and a little bit of the heart meridian too. We know that the small intestine will balance the bladder. And also we know that according to Master Tongue Acupuncture, Sanchasan is a great point to tonify the kidney, which this patient needed desperately. Another important reason for me to use this point, although we already had enough reasons, is if you do an image where your arm represents the leg, a reverse, we could call it a reverse mirror, where your hand represents the hip, Sanchasan is like a needle going through the hip, which was exactly the kind of pain that the patient was feeling. On the other side, I used lung nine. The lung channel also balances the bladder and lung nine is a very good image for the hip. Plus, I was starting here to build 
a global balance. So if you see here, we have Sancha Sun working with the small intestine, then I have the lung. On the foot, on the same side, I used bladder 65, which is the guiding needle for the bladder, again, addressing the pain that the patient was feeling as more intense. And on the other side, I used 77.18 or Shenguan. So you can see here, Shenguan, if you remember, is on the spleen channel. So what we have here is a balance using Taiyang and Taiyin, a very good global balance. 7718 or Shenguan is a great point in this situation because it's an amazing point to treat the kidney according to Master Tong's acupuncture and it allowed us to finish here our global balance. But I still added two other points. I added Yin Tang because the patient also had some, some anxiety and I added what in my opinion is the most important point in this treatment which was 88.28 I've already made a video specifically about this point and its effect on pain that comes from an emotional background and if you remember in the beginning of this story our patient said that her pain started after her son died. So I knew that there was some emotional component to this pain. So I added 8828. This point is close to the stomach meridian, but it's outside of the classic meridian, so I had to place it along with the young meridians, but it didn't matter for the global balance. And important note, this point only stays for eight minutes and then we remove it and leave the other needles on. And this patient was treated once per week. After the first session, the patient left the table with less pain than usual, but she was still not quite believing the treatment. She was telling, well, sometimes when I'm off my feet for a long time, the pain kind of goes down, so I still feel something, but nothing much. But when the patient came, the next session she told me that, that the pain on her hip was much lower so it went from a 6-7 as a daily average to 1-2 as a daily average and that the pain that usually went around her body was completely gone for three days and now was starting to come back but still felt lighter than usual. We did this treatment weekly for three sessions and between the third and the fourth session, we extended the treatments for once every two weeks. And we did three more treatments. So after a total of six treatments and the length of about two months, the patient had no more pain. And we finished the treatment over six months ago and the pain still hasn't come back. This is why I'm talking to you about acupuncture to treat chronic pain, because the truth is we get amazing results. Of course, it won't work on every case, it won't solve every case, nothing does, but it's an amazing resource and it's safe and effective. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone that might benefit from it and I'll see you in the next one.